um, my people, my brothers in Nigeria, in Akuku, I, since I sincerely appreciate you people. This um, shows that you people are God sent to me. I appreciate all of you one by one. This is Ekene Delechuku, Innocent Chima. I am alive by the grace of God. What happened to me that day did not claim my life. I was alive. It's just a mistake that I did to come for Andrew as a guarantor. I never knew that it's going to be like this. But my boss, the allergy that I come to in his place, he's a good man. Let's face the reality. It's just that he is looking for his money. I cannot blame him. But the truth about it, my people, is that I'm alive. I appreciate all of you. And I hear what you people say, that you people are trying to gather the, the money. God will bless anybody that I hear his voice there. This God in heaven will never forget you, 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 you people. That gathering that I see, that I see chief there, and I see Chinedu there, and I see Cosmas, and I see Dede. Let me start with chief. Chief, as you are hearing this thing, God will bless you. Anywhere you go, if God, for, if God forgets to bless you, know that I'm not serving God. Chine, do my cousin. God will bless you. There, there. All of you, both the Akama guy that talk, all of you that I see there, God will seriously bless you. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bridgie. How are you guys doing today? Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. So I ran into this story a few days ago um, on the internet, um, social media, and the post simply said, it was showing the picture of um, a man who um, the post said, wanted dead or, or alive, that he's from Anambra state. And um, they mentioned his hometown and the father's name, and that his name is Andrew Okudili Mosiah, and that he's used his cousin, this young man here for collateral in Pakistan. So the story has it that they were looking for him everywhere because apparently what has happened was that this Andrew used his cousin brother all the way in Pakistan as collateral, which I later found out that they said is a very common thing that they do in Pakistan, that they use people as, coll as collateral to collect their drugs, their illegal drugs that they sell. So the story has it that he, collect he used this man who is his cousin brother invited him and handed him over to some people that were um selling the drugs to the andrew and these are like pakistani like if you see them i'm telling you the video is too horrific i can't even share it here because you will not believe what they did to him the kind of beating they gave this guy and they were pointing you know weapons at him like they threatened that if his brother does not pay up that they are going to end his life and they gave the date that they were going to do it in July. July 12th, they said. So, of course, when they posted it, everybody was horrified. They started looking for, you know, um, Andrew. And, of course, as you know, on social media, people from their hometown will know him. And the news will be all over the place. So, they later found him and exposed him. And the story has it that he used this, his brother who willingly came, I must say. Because I, apparently this is a very usual thing for them to do over there. To, you know, be used as collateral. I've never heard of where they use human beings to do collateral before. I know they use property like houses or land. A human being as collateral is something I've never heard. But apparently this is a practice, a very common practice in that part of the world. You use this brother, his cousin, and then collected drugs from the drug lords. This is the man, the Andrew. And after he sold the drugs, he refused to show up. He didn't pay them. He took the money and started buying cars and doing other things, living life, and left this man. And if you see the way they were torturing him, oh my God. The video is so horrif hor horrifying. I can't even share it here because YouTube will not allow it. Everybody was shouting that, oh, the things that people do for money, they are going to kill this man. And you are dead. That's why you see uh, when you see people living this flashy life, don't be quick to envy anybody because all these men, you don't know what they do for money. I'm telling you, some of them, their hands are not clean. They've got blood in their hands, in their conscience. If not for social media that really exposed this, this young man by now would have been gone. So they found him and I think um, some members of their community, they are from Anambra State, came together, you know, recorded a video because they know each other. They all know each other. 
and the transcript there was saying that the moral of the story is that um uh this man gave his brother um as collateral to collect markets eh? he has finished selling the markets don't done collecting the money but the market they are talking about is illegal market you know drugs but he refused to pay the people that gave him the market he used the money to go and buy a car for himself he's living a large life and he's owing a lot of people money in pakistan and all those countries around there in south africa and all those places there that he's owing so he ran away i don't know maybe he ran away to nigeria or so and if not for this video nobody would have known that's how they would have just killed this young man right there because if you see the way they were treating him the way they were punishing him oh even an animal will not be treated like that i'm like oh all for what all for what because you want to ride the latest uh porsche because you want to ride the latest car all for what the car that if you die today is somebody else that the car will belong to and because of that you allow your own flesh and blood to be to be to be treated like this and probably who knows how many people would have you know gone this way if not for social media that's exposing i'm telling you see the men this is where they wrap their their head they look like hmm, the kind of people that you will see and faint torturing him beating him with long whips if you see the whips they were using to beat him eh, you will fear for your life they had they were pointing weapons at him he was crying if you can see his video now, because he came on social media today now thanking everybody uh, because it's like their community came together and they've reached out to the people that had have him in captivity. They held him in, in the bush and he was thanking them that he's alive. But you can see that he's still they're still holding him because he's wearing exactly the same singlet and the same shorts that he had on that video. This is exactly how he's looking. He said he's alive, but nobody knows whether it's true. Whether they've coerced him to make the video again to say that he's alive, nobody really knows the truth. But he, he came out on social media again saying that, you know, he's thanking all those who came to his rescue, that he's alive, you know, he's well. He was mentioning the name and he was saying that he didn't know that his brother would not come back. That he, he actually came to him when he asked to be used as collateral, thinking that the brother will come back. This is the cousin brother now, this Andrew who I must say is a monster. When you know the repercussion of these things that, you know, these people don't, they don't play, play they don't play around. Drug lords are not, they are not your friend. They are not your business partner. You pay them or you are gone. These people have no heart. They have no conscience. They are in it for the money. And if you stand on their way, you'll be gone. But you knew, this man knew what he was doing. And this is the kind of person that you will now take that money and go home and go to Nigeria and go to Anambra State, go to Lagos, and he, you know, police will be guarding him. He will have escorts. You will see him. They, they, some of them, when they are going to the east in December, you see them, they have a long trailer. They will bring out a long trailer and load Lamborghini. They will load all sorts of expensive cars to take to the east. They will build mansions. And people will say, why are you asking for the source of their money? Why are you asking for the, when he was poor, did you ask for the source of, of, his, uh, of his poverty? Why are you asking for the source of his wealth? Well, this is what happens. When you don't question people just become overnight rich and you never ask what business they are doing, then you should know that it, probably somebody, a relative like this, or some dodgy thing like this has gone on. Of which these people, I don't know how they sleep at night, how they can even close their eyes and sleep, I have no idea. All because of worldly material things. So, um... It's really, really, the story is quite heartbreaking, honestly. But what people are saying on social media now is that although um, he did say that he's alive, that they said they are going to pay the money, but nobody knows whether it's true or not. They may have made him record this video before, you know, doing away with him. Nobody actually knows. But I just pray that this guy is truly alive. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 14 he says, I have seen all the things that are done under the sun. All of them are meaningless, a chasing after the wind. So what does that tell us? It tells us that this life, all, I want to do this, I want to do this, is all vanity. As long as you have sufficient enough for you, your daily needs, you are able to eat. You are able to look after your children. You are able to pay your bills. Just be satisfied. 
And please do not envy all these people because I tell you, the length at which they go to because of this money, hey, they dine with the devil. They sold their soul. They've done all sorts of atrocities that is too inhumane to even mention. Yoruba say it's a leoro, ulegbi. The egbi is like the thing that is so dark that you cannot even imagine. That's the, the length people will go to these days, all for material things, all for what? This life that is here today and gone tomorrow. Vanity upon vanity. Nothing to it in this life. It's just for you to thanking God for your life, your good health, taking one day at a time. Because the way we celebrate as black people generally, Africans, Nigerians especially, the way we celebrate wealth, ill-gotten wealth, is why our society is, is like this. How it is today now. It's like a tickling bomb. You go to Nigeria, money, everybody is chasing money, 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 money. Like they don't just want to, at every cost, get that money. And they don't care whatever length they will get to. All for what? So that you can oppress somebody. So you can tell them you are driving a Lamborghini. You can tell them that you too, you've arrived. Yeah? You are driving the latest of the latest. What can you drive that other people have not driven before? Hmm? What can you drive? What, what is it that you have that somebody has does not have more? So, my people, let's just be content. Because in this life, contentment is the key to have a peaceful life. And all these people that are doing this evil, people like this Andrew that are doing, because trust me, there are so many of them out there. And I pray that they will repent before it is too late. Because if they die in this wickedness that they perpetuate every day, using your own flesh and blood to go and collect drugs to sell, because you want to go and buy the latest car, you want to buy the latest Rolls Royce. Ah, oh my show. The end is destruction. And I just pray that this second, and you too, you learn your lesson. If God rescues you, look at his hand. If you look at that video where he was talking, you can see they've broken one of his hand. It's completely swollen. That's to tell you that he's still not all right. He says he's all right, but I tell you, I don't know if he's really all right. I pray that you learn your lesson and get away from all this. Because you two, you are not innocent. If you were not into the business as well, you will not go and bring yourself out there to, go and, to, to, to be used as a guarantor or as a guarantee or whatever. That you presented yourself to you. So you better, after this experience, if God preserves your lives and saves you, I pray that you will just give your life to Christ and live a humble life and go away from all these Asian countries where they, they kill people, they slaughter people are like chicken. May God deliver you from this ordeal and I'm sure you will learn your lesson after this experience. So guys, I'm just going to leave you here today. I'm sorry about the little preaching there today. It's a Sunday, so we all need to, you know, tap into the word of God from time to time. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Leave me your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. There's the red button down there. And if you hit on the bell sign, you get notification whenever I post my videos. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll speak to you in my next one. I love you. Say no to illegal business. Say no to money by hook or crook. Say no to any business that is going to put somebody else's life at risk. At the end of the day, this life, we are here today, we are gone tomorrow. So, it is important that you follow the straight and narrow. Straight and narrow is what our parents told us. I know it's like a joke these days now, but it's the only way that, you know, is the right way. No matter how much we celebrate illegality today, won't you oda oda, and what is bad, it is bad. I dropped my mic today. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Have a beautiful Sunday and have a, an absolutely fabulous week ahead. And I will speak to you shortly in my next video. I love you. Bye-bye.